Hey everybody, I'm back with another read. Welcome back, welcome back. If you're returning, if you're new, welcome in. I want to thank everybody who has built a personal reading with me. I've had a chance to connect with you. Thank y'all so much for your love and your support. All right. Also, for everyone who has shopped online on my website, guys, thank y'all so much. Y'all have been showing out, and I'm very appreciative. I'm very grateful. All right, so we're going to pull some collective energy and see what's going on. Okay, let's see what message we have. This is a collective read, so it's, gonna, it's for all signs. Do not try to make stuff resonate that does not resonate with you. If it resonates with you, be sure to hit the like button, guys. So that way, I know that I'm connecting with y'all. Leave a comment below and share with your family and your friends, okay? So we can help this channel grow. All right, so let's see what's going on. Give me a message, a collective message, please. All right, so somebody, I'm picking up, somebody feels like they're not enough for you with the Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. I'm getting like there's been a loss of feelings, like somebody does not feel like they make enough to even come around you, like they don't feel like they're enough, okay? I'm getting, I'm feeling like, this could have been someone that you were definitely connected to in a relationship with. They asked for this connection, but I feel like it fell apart. Okay, so this person feels kind of like you are um, disconnected. Y'all not on the same page. They don't feel like y'all on the same page anymore. I'm hearing somebody say, I'm not about to keep chasing you. So somebody is feeling like, yeah. And I did notice when I was shuffling the cards that the energy was saying it was the sun and the six of swords and the five of cups. It kept, kept popping out, kept popping out, kept popping out when I split the deck. So you have been doing very well. Your life has been more positive. Um, spirit has gave you a sense of peace. Ever since this person ain't been around. Okay, so let's see. Yep. This person has noticed that you've been getting a lot of attention. This person has noticed that you've been getting a lot of attention. I'm hearing you've been getting a lot of attention lately. Your confidence level is through the roof. Your confidence level is through the Look at this. Start, look at this. Six of Wands and the star here. Your confidence level is through the roof. Okay. This energy has been coming out a lot. So I'm getting like somebody is on their way to the top. Okay. Somebody is moving up. I've been seeing this energy a lot with that Six of Wands and the star. So somebody is star quality. I'm getting somebody is moving up, okay? Yes, you're abundant. You're the queen of pentacles energy. You're very abundant. You're manifesting. This person wants to communicate with you, but they feel like you've been being kind of cold lately. They feel like you've been being cold. They feel like you've been in your queen of swords energy. Now, the energy, the signs that I'm picking up on is Leo. I'm picking up on Aquarius. 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it could be any sign. But I'm getting that somebody wants to communicate with you, but they feel like you're too high and mighty now. Like, y'all not on the same page anymore. Um, so they don't even know how to really come at you. They feel like, you know, like they're chasing you. Because you done went through a level up. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. They have come to that realization. Mm -hmm. Starting to realize. This person has started to realize that lately you've been getting a lot of attention. But, 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 but why they hurt by this? They in their feelings. Because, oh, oh. They want to be a part of it. They want to fix a situation with you. They want to balance things out with you. They want to balance and work on a marriage. They want to balance things out and work on a relationship. They want to balance things out. This could be family or I'm just getting like you. I feel like y'all have healed or y'all in the, are in the healing process. But some of y'all have turned some pain into, um, into some power. Yeah, for sure. I'm seeing boss moves. I'm seeing you being very abundant. Could be a Capricorn, but some this person feels like you're arrogant. They feel like you're extremely arrogant. You're getting arrogant. They start to realize that you're getting more attention than them and they feel like you're being arrogant about it that's some hating ass shit and they mad and they mad <laughs> they mad but yeah this person may be giving you like couldn't tell you congratulations but they don't really mean that they don't really mean that. They really over here hating. They do not mean. They tell you congratulations. They really don't mean it. I'm telling you, they don't. Mm -hmm. This person is trying to find a way to kind of slow you down. I see a lot of gossiping going on. I see a lot of gossiping going on. Okay. A lot of gossiping. Um, and this person trying to find a way to slow you down. This person has been gossiping about you with the Page of Swords and the Three of Cups. This is my gossiping energy. Okay. They've been gossiping about you. And they're trying to find a way to kind of slow you down. Okay. They feel like if they start a rumor about you, maybe it'll slow you down. Okay, maybe it'll slow you down. This is, see, look at this. But see, they tried too hard and failed. They tried hard to do that and failed. Okay. <laughs> tried, to, tried hard to compete with you, to stir up conflict, to do all type of things, to uh, try to throw you off your path. Yeah, I'm here, but don't think you've seen it yet. Don't think you've seen it yet, okay? I'm hearing something don't make sense. How you switch up like that out of nowhere. Somebody's feeling like something isn't fair. Okay, so somebody feels like if something's not fair, how you getting more attention than they is? That's some hating. I just do not. I don't. I don't. Oh, gosh. That's why people work when they getting, you know, doing something productive. They like to work alone. Because don't nobody got time for this type of energy. That hating ass energy. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. Somebody want what you got. Somebody want what you got. Somebody want what you got. Is it stability? Is it a relationship? Is it a marriage? Whatever it is. Somebody want what you got.
They are tired of you winning. I'm going to put this out there. Just a masculine. Because I see this masculine. I'm hearing told you that it was leaving you for another female here. Okay. Eight of Cups, Page of Cups, and the Empress. They told you that they was leaving you for somebody else. That they were talking to somebody else. Um, but this pushed you. This They pushed you in a situation. They forced you into a situation where you had to heal from. Okay. You had to heal from. Um, it took you a while. I feel like you took your time. You took your time. Okay. But it ended up working out in your favor. It ended up working out of your favor. Yep. Okay. Now, this person, this masculine, they wanted to work on the relationship. It could be a masculine or a feminine. Y'all flip the, flip, the, flip the energy. Feel free to flip the energy. And they are spying. When I say they spying, they spying on you, okay? <laughs> they spying on you. The challenge is they really do want to work together. They really do want to work on a connection with you. But they feel like you done got too big for them. They feel like your ego is too big. Um, so they know that you're not going to just come back in and allow them to come back in any type of way. They know. They know it. This person is going to try to reach out to you and apologize and make you some type of offer, okay? They're going to try to come in and make you some type of offer, but for a lot of them, they blocked. They can't even get to you, okay? A lot of y'all had to go in hermit mode. Okay, y'all had learned some things. Spirit put you to the side so you can learn some things. So you can look at this situation from a different perspective. Okay, this person has been trying to force you to talk. They've been trying to force you to try to get you to open up and talk about the things that they want to talk about. But you keeping, you're keeping, you're still focused. You're focused. You're not changing your mind. Um, and you're okay with how the situation is right now. It is what it is. They don't show up their true colors. So you're fine. You're fine. They could be trying to reach out to you to try to balance. They may be going through something financial um, or they want to kind of like, I'm hearing split a bill or... I'm getting like collab with you. See if they can try to change your mind, okay? This person is coming around to see if they can try to change your mind. They're trying to come around and change your mind. They may try to come to you um, on some passionate shit like let's link, you know, try to have sex with you to get in your head. I'm seeing that as well, yeah. But see, this person be being deceptive, okay? They've been being deceptive. They have been being deceptive. I'm hearing somebody, um, every time somebody phone ring, they leave the house and answer the phone. So <laughs> they're gonna be trying to sneak away from the car meet. They try to get in contact with you. They're trying to sneak away. And every time the karmic comes around and they're trying to, they're feeling like they need some space for the karmic to try to get in contact with you. It's going to be out of the blue. It's going to be random. It's going to be out of the blue. Because I feel like the way things ended, it was traumatizing. Okay. It ended abruptly. It ended abruptly. Okay. The death card. It ended abruptly. The world card. It ended abruptly. And this is still on this person's mind. They can't sleep at night thinking about this. 
They can't get you off of their mind. They still have hope. I'm hearing hope that you'll forgive them. Um, I'm hearing, even though I walked out on you for somebody else, it's not what they, what it seems. It's not what it seems. It's supposed to be temporary. It was supposed to be temporary. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. This person over here crying over spilled milk, having regrets. They regret bringing in the third party. They regret lying. They regret even taking that risk. And the risk was they walked out. When they feel like they should have stayed, they should have stayed in this connection. Here's the lovers, okay? Because you was their true love, king of swords and the lovers. But they had a relationship on the side. They did. Ten of pentacles and the moon and the seven of cups. They had something going on on the side. They got something going on on the side. Now they're trying to sneak out, sneak away from it. But see, you and your queen of pentacles energy, you over here getting money. You over here being abundant. You over here living your best life. Like, what I need you over here for? Mm -hmm. Some of y'all already found somebody new. Found somebody, another masculine to talk to, honey. Because this person, they played you. They played you like you was a fool. They played you. I ain't even gonna lie. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords. And then the way that they did it, they did it out of spite. It was spiteful. It was childish. The way they handled it was very, very wrong. The way they handled that situation, they need to be shamed. Okay? And this could be a King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this person is now having financial, um, worried about their finances. Okay? Where their finances is going. Look at this. Mm hmm Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Um, they may not know how to manage their money. And that's why they want to collab with you. I'm hearing go half. I'm hearing go half. Now they want to collab with you. Tell me why this King of Wands is here. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah. I'm saying if y'all moved on and y'all have practiced self-love, y'all putting this energy into self. Y'all are very, very abundant. Okay, y'all are abundant. Y'all manifested something great for yourself after this person has done you all type of way. And it is what it is. This person getting ready to get, you got to get ready to get justice, okay? They want to talk about it. They want to talk about it, try to balance, try to balance something out with you. I'm hearing this person didn't want to make it seem like they didn't have it, so they left. Okay, maybe you ask this person to do something for you, ask this person for some type of assistance, ask this person for anything, and they walked out because they really don't want, they really didn't have it. They didn't. Queen of Swords and the Emperor. This person said, yeah, you... <laughs> You've been in your Queen of Swords energy. And I feel like y'all done bossed up. Y'all done bossed up. This is bossy times 10 energy. Okay? Y'all done bossed up. It's too late. They done let y'all boss up. They done let y'all boss up. Look at this. Look at this. The Emperor, Ten of Pentacles. Y'all may have started y'all own business. Y'all may be a supervisor. Y'all making good money. Y'all got y'all to get there. Okay. And y'all done set boundaries. This person ain't even, it ain't even, what's, what's the point of them coming back around? They need to get their own shit together like you had to do. Mm -mm. Look at this. I'm hearing multiple streams of income. Multiple streams of income. Not just one, but multiple, multiple streams. Okay, multiple streams. Ever since this person left, is it y'all done had new beginning after new beginning? Some of y'all done moved on to a whole nother relationship, but this person went and got in, in a serious relationship with a karmic. Okay, when they really should have stayed, and this is something that they are mad at themselves about. 
<laughs> their madness that they all up in their head about you all the time, every day. Every day. Mad at themselves. Mad at themselves. Five of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Because they motherfucking knew better. But they did not use their intuition in this situation. They didn't. Mm -mm. They didn't. They knew better. They just ain't do better. But they knew better. But they tried it. They tried it. They did. They tried it. Let me see what they want to say. So it's saying the timing wasn't right for us. The timing wasn't right because they were dealing with a karmic. That's why. I knew I was a distraction from your pain. You know, I feel like they just want to distract you. Um, I wish I could share my good news with you. And I want to feel that way again. This person is coming in and going to try to distract you. They're going to tell you that they got this going on. They got that going on. Anything to try to distract you from the fact that they really don't. Okay, they just want to feel that way again. They just want to be around you again. They just want to be up under you. They just want to be in your energy, in your space. Okay, to get that good feminine, that good masculine energy. God flipped the flip the roles of me and thee. Y'all, let me know what's going on in that comment section below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you are new. All right. Check the comment section below, guys. I pinned my information down there for you guys to book personal readings. Y'all need to go ahead and jump, jump on this $25 if y'all knew because I charge $70 for my personal readings. And this $25 special ain't going to last for long. All right? So go ahead and get booked. Um, you'll get your reading within 24 hours as well, guys. You can check out my website. I've got a, some goodies over there for y'all. Um, that's going to be pinned in the description box as well, all right? Not the description box, the comment section. I'm going to chat with y'all later.